everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here I am tired mama and I'm on a weight loss journey I'm a wife I'm a mom I have 50 billion things that I have to try and get done every day and it never gets done all the way and I do art and sewing and books and store hauls you name it I do just about all of it um, so Make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up and let me know that you liked today's video. Today I want to talk about my plan that I announced in my last video where my doctor finally gave me the approval to move forward doing the keto diet. Now I wanted to give you a little bit more information about why I couldn't previously do keto. My doctor, who is wonderful and I think you should always have a doctor that you discuss diet plans with, did a test on me previously when I had tried keto and he said the problem was before I had started keto my triglyceride level was so bad and some of the foods that you eat when you're on keto when you don't really know what you're doing are high triglyceride foods bad fat foods um, and that's really for people who do like hack jobs of keto like dirty keto right and so he was like, let's get this under control, and then we will go from there. Well, everything looked fine on my uh, recent blood work, so he gave me the go-ahead to do keto, but he gave me some guidelines, and I've done a lot of research. I've um, literally spent two days. I didn't have a video yesterday because I have literally spent two days reading and taking notes. Like, I'm a studier, guys. So I want to tell you what my keto plan is versus just saying I'm going to do keto. I want to share with you a nifty little thing that I bought. And um, then you're going to need to go to the grocery store with me tomorrow. So the keto plan that I'm going to do is strict keto, which is 75% healthy fats, 20% protein, and less than 5% carbs. This is what will put you into medical ketosis. Now, I know that I can... Before, I could get into ketosis in like 36 hours. Um, and that's where your body is burning stored fat versus calories that you're eating. So let's talk about the foods to avoid if you're doing keto. Okay? And some of these you don't really think about. So any sugary food, obviously. Soda, fruit juice, smoothies. Guys, I love smoothies. Cake, ice cream, and candy. Grains and starches. Any wheat-based product, rice, pasta, or cereal. All fruit. Except very small portions of berries. Um, I have read blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries. And small limited portions are good. Okay, beans such as peas, kidney beans, lentils, and chickpeas. Root vegetables, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and carrots. Low-fat or diet products. These are things that are excuse me, oftentimes high carb and highly processed, okay, such as um, the breakfast sandwiches that you'll see some people eating, this like a veggie patty and um, like wheat thin, or not wheat thins, they're like grain thins is what they're called. Condiments are soft, condiments and sauces are oftentimes high in sugar and unhealthy fats um, and to limit the intake of processed vegetables oils and mayonnaise. Alcohol has high sugar content or high sugar and carbs. Um, Sugar-free diet foods oftentimes are high in sugar alcohol which affects your ketone levels and they're always highly highly processed. Okay, Foods to focus on. So this is what my focus is going to be on while I'm eating. Meat. Red meat, steak, ham, sausage, bacon, chicken, turkey. Okay. It does not say pork. Fatty fish, such as salmon, trout, tuna, or mackerel. That's good because we love fish. Eggs. <clears throat> Butter or cream, always grass-fed. The Irish, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It's in a gold package with a green label. Uh, unprocessed cheese. I think we're actually, I may do a video on like trying to make homemade cheese. That could be fun. Nuts and seeds like almonds, walnuts, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, and chai seeds. Healthy oils, uh, extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, and avocado oil. 
avocados, whole or fresh. Okay, so here's my biggest problem that I've run into so far. Uh, a lot of recipes and stuff they call for avocados, they say to eat avocados as snacks because they're healthy fats. Guys, I hate avocados. I can't do the texture, I can't do the taste, I can't do it as guacamole. So what do you substitute for avocados because I can't do that. Um, low carb veggies, all green vegetables, tomato, onions, and peppers, all good things. And um, salt, pepper, and herbs. Now, the other thing that I read an article about this week, and when I say I read an article, I'm not talking about I read something off of Google. I'm talking about I read something in a medical journal, okay? Um, was an article talking about a lot of dried um, herbs. You really have to watch those in the mixes and read the ingredients because it's not always just oregano, okay? Um, I've really recently gotten into more like fresh herbs, so I'm excited to be using those more cooking. Uh, the, there are a couple supplements that were recommended. The first one being MCT oil. Add it to drink sugar and it improves your energy. Um, different minerals, specifically salt, pink Himalayan, Himalayan salt, Himalayan salt, am I saying that right? Uh, is what was recommended. Caffeine helps with energy, weight lo uh, fat loss, and performance. I don't take caffeine. I can't take caffeine. Um, I don't even drink caffeinated sodas most of the time because it makes me do this. Exogenous ketones helps raise the body's ketone level, creatine, and whey protein. They say a half a scoop of whey protein and shake your yo yogurt can really help. Now here are some things to think about. So my total in using the... I'm going to show you the app that I'm using. And I've been like setting this all up because I feel like if I have a plan of attack, I'm going to be better at this. I'm going to be using Carb Manager. And after I put in my weight and my goals, they said that my um, carb count for the day would be 33. Um, so 33 carbs is what I can have for a day. So I want to... <laughs> I did this little chart that I found and it said um, one cup of most fruits is anywhere from 6 to 20 carbs. I can have a total of 32 carbs, excuse me, not 33, 32. Um, one small baking potato is 15. One beer is 13. You ain't got to worry about that. That stuff tastes like crap. One cup of rice is 28. One cup of pasta is 29. Two slices of bread, regular bread, is insane. It's like 34 to 46. Uh, one soda, 52. A Snickers bar, 60. Now, I didn't check these in the grocery store. This was something on a chart that I found online. Um, so, I kind of have a meal plan here that I'm going to be working with. One thing that really um, is going to be different for me is that I have to try and do meals that I can take part of the meal and turn it into mine and then take the other part and turn it into my husband and my daughter's. They're not exactly on this whole carb-free kind of deal. So if I'm doing uh, keto chili, I can take my servings out and add kidney beans to their servings and they can have regular chili. Um, Let's see. Stuffed chicken breast, I think I can get away with, and I can do vegetables for them, like different things for them that I do for me, without having to necessarily cook a whole separate meal. That's kind of my goal here. Um, meatloaf, I can do the keto meatloaf, and do they, you know, they can still have their mashed potatoes, and I'll have cauliflower. Um, I got a really good recipe for vegetable beef soup, which is one of my favorites. I do my grocery shopping typically Thursday to Tuesday. I'm sorry, Wednesday to Tuesday. I'm going to be going tomorrow, which is Thursday. So I'll get all of the stuff that I need for the next six days. Now, here's my big problematic piece is that like, Friday night, I'll be working at the band concession stand. So I'm going to have to take something to eat or, you know, I can get a Polish dog, no bun with peppers and onions and maybe take a salad to go with that because I will need something I can eat quickly. Uh, I need to be able to on Saturday take a lunch 
and dinner because my daughter will be at a band competition. Um, and I think we're going to have to leave at like 9 in the morning and we won't get back till well past midnight. And one of the things where I fail is that I'm not prepared. Um, which is why I'm taking the time to do the notes and get the information I need beforehand. Because if I set myself up, you know, that I'm out and about and can pick what I want, I don't make the right decisions. So, um, I want to show you guys this that I think is really good. One thing I struggle with when I talk about food in general, just in general, is um, portion sizes, right? And that's just for any diet. And let's face it, if I didn't struggle with portion size, I wouldn't struggle with my weight, right? So I got these, they're four refrigerator magnets and they are the keto cheat sheets. So like this has vegetables and it says the item, what the serving is, the amount of protein, net carbs, and fats that they have. So let's look at this and the two foods with the most fats I don't like. Asparagus, I can have six spears, that's one serving. It has two grams of proteins, two grams of carbs, and zero fats. Avocados, uh, one half of, the, of an avocado is a serving, has three grams of protein, three grams of net carbs, and 15 grams of fat. Okay. So then it has meat, and it gives you the ounces, the cups, or the slices. So uh, almonds, let's see, this is meats and nuts. Almonds, I can have a quarter of a cup, has eight grams of protein, four grams of carbs, and 18 grams of fat. It has bacon, cashews, chicken breast, chicken thighs, eggs, ground beef, uh, peanuts, pork loin, salmon, shrimp, steak, tuna. Okay. Next one is, now this is probably the best one for me, is oils and condiments. Um, and it lists the serving size, the how much protein, net carbs, and fats it has. So, like avocado oil has no protein, no net carbs, but it's 14 grams of fat for one tablespoon. Um, butter, salted butter has 12 grams of fats for one tablespoon. Uh, MCT oil has 14 grams. Olive oil, peanut butter, that's a good one. I love peanut butter. But with peanut butter, you have to be careful because a lot of times it has sugar added. All right, and then this is another really big one for me is dairy. Um, and this list by the serving size, so it has blue cheese, brie, cheddar, cream cheese, feta, which I love feta, um, gouda, Greek yogurt, heavy cream, Monterey Jack, mozzarella, parmesan, provolone, sour cream, and Swiss cheese. So the best dairy to eat that has lots of healthy fats is cream cheese, which we know that can be good on a ton of different things when you're doing keto. Uh, these are all magnetic and they do go in your refrigerator, so it's nice when you're cooking dinner. So I'm going to put these on my fridge and I think that this is a really great way to kind of help me be accountable. We fix our plates in the kitchen and then go sit down to eat. So I think this will, is a great tool that will help me. I will put the Amazon link to it down below. And I think they were like six or seven dollars. Like they were pretty cheap. Um, I think that's it for now. Tomorrow's video is going to be our trip. We're going to go to Aldi. We're going to go to Kroger. Um, I'm not super comfortable yet with filming in public, so we will see how that goes. I think I can film in those two stores and um, maybe Target. If you have any questions or concerns, or maybe you have a favorite recipe, make sure that you leave it for me below. I know that um, Monique left me a really great recipe for tacos, and so I'm going to be doing that because we eat a lot of tacos. But until next time, guys, guys, I don't know where my brain is today. Remember three things. Number one, you are worth the time that it takes to lose weight. Number two, your life is worth the effort that it takes to lose weight. And number three, know that you are loved. Until next time, guys. Bye.